Do You Exist? A Thought Experiment. Since our founding documents, individuals have been told in this country that they precede government, that individual rights are a barrier to the overimposing powers that can be seeped off by the government, that, that giant leviathan. However, what are rights and where do they come from? What are rights attached to? There must be a core you that exists in reality that government must take a look at and respect and protect. Ironically enough, in our society, we're allowed to study all kinds of topics and subjects in college. Math, science, literature. One of the few things that we ever have to study in depth is ourselves. Who are you? Are you simply a reflection of what your culture has decided it wants you to be? Certainly the people around us influence how we dress, how we act, how we talk to each other, what our aspirations may be. Our church tells us what the highest aspiration can be, how we should act, or if you don't go to church, that does the same thing. Our parents raised us, but they're kind of locked in the same battle that we're locked in. Do, did they know who they were when they were raising us? Even our gender really determines who we are. Would I be the same person if I were a woman? Some things are accepted by society and other things aren't. What may be accepted in one society certainly isn't a different society, or even within that same society at a different time. How feminine you can be or how masculine you are is going to be determined not just whether you live in the United States or what part of the United States, but when. Was it the 1920s? The 1860s? And to complicate matters, we cover ourselves in name, name brand clothing so that seemingly we don't allow others to see who we really are. Further, with the advent of social media, we can procure a new us online that doesn't necessarily match the us. So having said all this, I want you, uh, let's go and make this thought experiment a little more tangible. I want you to write down a list of five things that make you you. So when you think about yourself and who you are and when you're explaining yourself to others, what five things would you mention? Further, I want you to give yourself a percentage. How much of you has been an intentional choice? So when you look at yourself, how much of you has been developed and manicured by your own intentions? And then how much has been forced onto you by the polis? And I use the term polis because the ancient Greeks didn't see a difference between government and society. And so we're going to borrow their term uh, because, frankly, I don't either. So in the end, if you say 20% you and 80% polis, that means that 20% of who you are has been an intentional choice and the other 80% has been forced onto you by society. Go ahead and pause this video and then we'll get back to the, uh, to the game in just a second. Did you write down a sport like baseball? Didn't baseball exist before you were born? Can you really say that you chose that? Because that was already there for you to choose. The same thing for the kind of music that you like. Didn't the music have to exist? And even the language that we're using right now to communicate, didn't that have to exist before you were born in order to use it? So far, I haven't seen anything that really makes you you. And let's go back to our original question. If the government is here to protect your rights and to respect you as an individual, but there really is no you at the core, then why should the government protect the you that doesn't really have a core? Aren't you simply just a reflection of impersonal forces in society that have accidentally created you. And in fact, if that's the case, then why shouldn't the government be given more power to create a better you since the you that exists right now is just an accident? Even things as simple as dressing or getting a tattoo, no, not that tattoo, yeah, that tattoo, is largely deter determined by forces outside of you. Is there any such thing as you? Let's continue this discussion in class. And if you feel like posting to hashtag COOPGOVT to address these issues, I would appreciate it.